Well, you know what? Actually, one day after her victory in the Maryland U.S. Senate race primary, Prince George's County Executive Angela Alsobrook sits down with DC News Now for her first interview after beating Congressman David Trone. Our Leonard and Fleming just spoke to Alsobrooks who will face the will replace uh, the very popular former governor. And Leonard, how's Alsobrooks feeling going into this big matchup? Well, Angela Alsbrooks has always said she is the candidate to beat Larry Hogan. And this fall, she will have her chance. And she would become the first African-American woman in Maryland history to win this seat if she's victorious. Here is some video of her victory speech last night. She was backed in the Democratic primary by big names such as first-term Governor Wes Moore. Now she faces Hogan in the general election in November. That is expected to generate millions in spending as the Democrats seek to keep the GOP from taking that seat. A May 9th Emerson College. The Hill DC News Now poll showed also Brooks beating Hogan in a hypothetical matchup 48% to 38% with 14% undecided. Also Brooks tells me that she has a strategy to win. I believe that, that my positions and um, the issues that I stand for, including choice, including, again, economic opportunity, including transportation investments in communities across the state, are, are ones that will resonate with Marylanders, and, and I believe that they will decide to keep Maryland blue. We will have more from our interview with Alsa Brooks and her race with Hogan coming up on our 4 p.m. newscast. Reporting from Largo, Maryland, Leonard N. Fleming, DC News Now, back to you. All right.